so friends welcome back we were to start the first chapter from ncert 10th standard textbook first flight and the chapter's name is a letter to god we already discussed the story line again repeating a very simple turn a very modest not so educated simply literate only farmer namely lencho had his crop ruined and as he didn't have any other option left to come out of the difficulty as he had got enough faith in god he decided to seek shelter from god and how to reach god so the simple turn farmer very modest very simple vicharo sidho sadho kherut decided to write a letter to god so now we are to see whether he gets the reply and what reply does he get if he gets okay so i'm sharing the textbook with you as we have discussed the say the faith can move mountains but what should we put our faith in this is a question this story delicately poses as i told you lento is a farmer who writes a letter to god when his crops are ruined and what he demanded he didn't demand a lot of money prosperity happiness for the lifetime he demanded what he deserved and what he really wanted for the time for that year only for what he has ruined he asked only for 100 pesos peso as we have rupee and paisa in india is a basic monetary unit in latin american countries and philippines also so latin america has also mexico does lencho's letter reach god does god send him money now well, let us find out the answers of this questions from the chapter the house the only one in the entire valley sat on the crest of a low hill crest matlab the top of the hill where the two sides of the mountain meet it is slightly flat so that we can just easily walk over there or can establish something over there it is not so pointed so on the crest of a low hill from this height one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers that always promised a good harvest dotted decorated embellished phulo thi sangareli akhi veli ane atla bada phulo je that promises a very good harvest there is a river the the land is fertile there is always a very good harvest harvest means the the ripen crop that we reap the only thing the earth needed was a downpour obviously when you sow the seed and if you want to get good harvest rain is must and downpour means heavy rain or at least a shower but light drizzle will not work so enough rain is needed throughout the morning lencho who knew his field intimately intimately or very closely બહુ નજીકથી પોતાના ખેતરને જાણે ફોર એ ફાર્મર હિઝ ફિલ્ડ ઇઝ લાઈક એ ચાઇલ્ડ ઇ નોઝ હિઝ ફિલ્ડ વેરી વેલ એન્ડ હી ઇઝ ડન એવરીથિંગ દેટ ઇઝ નીડેડ ટુ એન્શ્યોર એ વેરી ગુડ હાર્વેસ્ટ નાઉ ધી ઓનલી વન થિંગ ઇઝ નીડેડ દેટ ઇઝ વોટ દેટ ઇઝ રેઇન એન્ડ દેટ ઇઝ નોટ ઇન હિઝ હેન્ડ ઇઝ રિલાય અપોન ગોડ 
upon the weather had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast now he's talking to his wife they are speaking local language colloquial tones are there jem apan gujarati boli maru bairu mari garwari and it is something like that now we are really going to get some water woman woman matlab koi biji woman nahi ani khud ni wife wife to khud ni jo the woman who was preparing supper replied yes god willing jevi bhagwan ni ichha jo bhagwan jo dhani the older boys were working in field while the smaller ones were playing near the house until the woman called to them all mota barko bagicha ma khetar ma kaam kare ana barko var rame je ana bada ne jamva mate bola ave che aa jamva nu bhav se nahi varsad dya sudhi nahi ave ya sudhi man ne jump nahi made come for dinner it was during the meal that just as ye to jamva nu chalu hotu barabar is samay lancho predicted big drops of rain began to fall in the north east huge mountains of clouds very big clouds are there could be seen approaching matlab getting nearer approaching atle coming nearer hovering just just above you the air was fresh and sweet the man went out for no other reason than to have the pleasure of feeling the rain on his body first rain even the feel of the rain brings us tantalizing feeling that that moist air a yeah, vini vini sugandh watery smell can just leave us very excited we are eagerly waiting for the rain and once it burst we just out without one of any any kind of one of breaking all the barriers no one no one is there to stop us we are out of control there is the surge of rain but here rancho when he returned he exclaimed he expected some downpour some shower but there were not showers there were some big drops and that is quite threatening initially he was happy but this is going to be very serious these aren't rain drops falling from the sky they are new coins now the rain drops are so big they are compared with coins the big drops are 10 cent pieces the little ones are fives it is called as prose metaphor so he satisfied now initially with a satisfied expression he regarded the field of ripe corn with his flowers matlab he now started dreaming Okay, this heavy downpour will bring some very nice crop. His his fields will be full of flowers, and the whole field is covered with is going to be covered with heavy rain, and he's happy now. So he's dreaming, ripe corn with his flowers, draped, covered, coated in a curtain of rain. But suddenly a strong wind began to blow, and along with the rain. very large hailstones hailstones are huh? very big droplets sometimes even icy droplets can be called as what hailstones begin to fall this truly did resemble resemble well of looking like looking similar to new silver coins the boy is exposing themselves to the rain ran out to collect the frozen pearls it is again compared with what pulse it is really getting bad now now when the hell stones are growing more and more heavier and heavier forceful and more forceful it brought some tension on the face of farmer now he explained he exclaimed he said it is really getting bad now i hope it passes quickly मतलब जितना जल्दी खत्म हो अच्छा है बिकॉज़ टू मच ऑफ हेल स्टोन्स विल ब्रिंग हेल स्टोन इट इज नॉट गुड इट इज नॉट गुड फॉर द क्रॉप इट विल बर्न द क्रॉप इट विल डिस्ट्रॉय इट एंड द सेम थिंग हैपेंड 
it did not pass quickly for an hour the hell rained on the house the garden the hillside everywhere the corn field on the whole valley the field was white as if covered with salt fully covered with ice looking like the desert of salt so fell down not a leaf remained on the trees the corn was totally destroyed the flowers were gone from the plants lencho's soul was filled with sadness when the storm had passed he stood in the middle of the field and said to his sons he remembered you must have heard about locust uh there are certain insects and you the teed boli they attack upon the fields they are in swarms in groups and within some seconds some minutes they devour the entire crop they disease the entire crop so it is very threatening for the farmers so what loss is done by the plague of locust might be even smaller than the loss brought by this hail storm so that is very very mm, very bothering for the farmer very he is looking very very is looking very worried a plague of locust would have left more than this matlab if the plague of locust had struck and the destruction it might have caused it could have been much more than what it could have been much less than this one but of this will remain this will leave nothing on the land it will be total barren land hail storms are that particular destructive the hail has left nothing this year we will have no corn they were all very much sorrowful very sad that night was a sorrowful one they all discussed our work had gone totally useless all our work for nothing there is no one who can help us from where to get the help we'll all go hungry this year bhukhe marenge but they were simple then but that still faith in the heart sometimes people relate faith with stupidity full heartedness most of the time it is correct but full hearted people have blind faith faith and blind faith have got a thread like difference there is almighty who is controlling us who is maintaining us and we should have faith in him the same kind of faith was there in the heart of all the farmers the whole family but in the hearts of all who lived in the solitary house in the middle of the valley there was a single hope help from god he said don't be so upset even though this seems like a total loss remember no one dies of hunger hathi na man kidi na kan ke vachcha bhagwan koi ne bhukho nahi so de to apan na apna bhag nu mari rese apne bhukha nahi mariye that's what they say no one dies of hunger log aisa kehte hai koi bhukha nahi marta hai all through the night lencho thought only of his one hope the help of god whose eyes as he had been instructed wo aisa sikha tha ene wo bhaino to ene wo jaino to ene wo e kidu tu ke bhagwan badhu jove ye apan nahi jove je apni halat e jove che ane chokkas apana mane kai karse see everything even what is deep in one's conscience apan em da apan game e kaam kariye kon ke apan ne jove che ane apan khotu kaam kariye je we do we do sins we do wrong deeds but we should never forget you know in every single particle there is god god is also within us in our conscience he lies over there and never allows us to lie so in his deep conscience antaratma or in his inner sense he knew there is somebody who can help us the lencho was an ox he was not intelligent he was a simpleton but he was not illiterate he knew how to work hard but he also knew how to write at least you knew how to write so the following sunday at daybreak in the morning he began to write a letter 
which he himself would carry to town and place in the mail. It was nothing less than a letter to God. Now he writes a letter. He writes, God, if you don't help me, my family and I will go hungry this year. I need a hundred pesos in order to sow my field again and to leave until the crop comes because the hell storm and blah, 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 blah. This is the way the letter goes. He wrote to God on an envelope where he puts the letter and mail it. He used to write the address. The way we write to the manager, to the principal, he wrote to God. He didn't do the address. So simply writing to God, he put the letter inside and still troubled went to town. Wherever at the post office, he placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox. One of the employees who was a postman also helped at the post office. Went to the boss laughingly, heartily. Showed him the letter to God. Never in his career as a postman had he ever known that address. Where to put the letter? Where to send the letter? What is the address? Now the postmaster, a fat, amiable, looking very friendly, good man, also broke out laughing, but almost immediately he turned serious. He was laughing because he had found something funny, but immediately realized somebody is in a great need. Somebody is in a pathetic situation. And this situation actually brought him to write a letter to God, who has seen God, but he had a faith in God. So his faith really moved him. He's become serious. And tapping the letter on his desk, commented, Oh, what faith! So Shraddha Jaya. I wish I had the faith of the man who wrote this letter. Kaas, Mari Pasa Pan, Marama Pan, I wish Shraddha Hoth Jaya Manas Ne Gaur Maja. Mane Pan Bhagavad Mati Shraddha Hoth. Starting up a correspondence with God. Wow! Bhagavad Ne Saathe Vat Chit Kare Jaya. Bhav Khe Vaya. Vijab Ne Shraddha. बनाना लोगों में श्रद्धा हो चुकी है ये वो तो साइंटिफिक रीति जो है तर्क जो है अन्य कदा जटला जो वो तो हैरान जाए सीधा सदा लोगों भगवान में श्रद्धा जाए खुश जाए सो इन ऑर्डर नॉट टू सेक द राइटर्स फेथ इन गॉड मतलब ये उच्च तो तो ही न्यू के दिस नो गॉड लेटर टू बी सेंड नो वेर एंड वंस � Faith is very rare and he wanted the farmer should not lose the faith. So just to keep his faith intact, he decided to help him in the name of God. The intention was very correct, very noble. So in order not to shake the writer's faith in God, the postmaster came up with an idea, answered the letter. But when he opened it, it was evident that it was proven that was looking that to answer it he needed something more than goodwill kali help kar sa bhagwan eu keva digam nahi chale literally help jova madvi joiye and help se nahi joti thi paisa nahi so only goodwill will not work only noble intention will not work only ink and paper will not suffice so he did what? He stuck to his resolution, what he decided. He asked for money from his employees. The money that was demanded was not his capacity to deliver all the money. He thought all the people should contribute in keeping his faith intact. So he asked the help from all the employees. And Intel also contributed as a part of his salary. Several friends of his were obliged well, if they were forced, they had to give something for an act of charity. It was impossible for him to gather, to gather the hundred pesos. So he was able to send the farmer only a hell more than half. He put the money in an envelope, addressed to Lencho, and with it a letter containing only a single word as a signature, God. Written to God, it was sent by God. With the signature under the letter as what? God. 
very surprising very amazing the following sunday lencho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him his curiosity his eagerness his impatience it was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster experienced well postmaster didn't go and deliver the letter you want to see the expression on the face of the farmer you want to see the contentment the satisfaction on his face he also wanted to feel something good inside him because he had helped him the one who donates is a bigger beneficiary than one who gets the donation he was very satisfied and he wanted to see the contentment on the face of the farmer so experiencing the contentment of a man who has performed a good deed looked on from his office lencho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money if he didn't have faith if he had little of the faith he would have been surprised surprised is the one who was a lake of faith he knew very well that the money would come so he was not surprised mind well such was his confidence but he became angry when he counted the money god could have do you he knew he had a faith in god he knew god is almighty never make a mistake so he thought mistake would be done by somebody else or it would be intentionally done by somebody else and the somebody would have been nobody else than what the post people now can you guess the reaction of lencho he thought what gujarati ma ho ki tu tumhara teacher hai ke paisa gayi na paisa ocha nikla to bhagwan upar gusso no gayo bhagwan ne kidu ke bhagwan next time ka post thi paisa no mokalda paisa hi ke mane seedha mokaljo ara post wala vachhe thi paisa khai gaya પોસ્ટમાસ્ટર ને હસવું આવ્યું અને ગુસ્સો આવ્યો કારણ એક તો હેલ્પ કરી માથાથી ગાળું મારી પણ હવે એક નિર્દોષ ખેડૂત જે છે એનું રિએક્શન છે વોટ કુડ વન ડુ સેમ થિંગ ઇઝ યર નોર કુડ યુ ડિનાઇડ લેન્ચો વોટ યુ હેડ રિક્વેસ્ટેડ મતલબ યુ ડોન ધ હેલ્પલેસનેસ ઓફ ગોડ immediately lencho went up to the window to ask for the paper and ink on the public writing table he started to write and with much wrinkling of his brow he was thinking something very hard putting some hard effort caused by the effort he had made to express his ideas when he finished he went to the window to buy a stamp which licked thok lagaidu and then affixed totaidu stuck it the anol of with a blow of his fist gussama jodiam tar the moment the letter fell into the mailbox the postmaster went to open it letter ma likho tu god of the money that i asked for only 70 pesos reached me send me the rest since i need it very much but don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks crooks matlab evil people those who run on a wrong path sort of criminals sort of corrupt people signed by lynch so neki kar darya mein dal so postmaster might have been laughing again at the innocence of the farmer because he knew ke what normally the government officials have done in the name of corruption in the name of forgery they are paying for this and is a simple reaction from the ordinary man brother so now the government officials should do something to improve their image nevertheless this faith of lencho really left us touched and also left us our face smiling this is what a letter from god thank you friends i'll come back to you now with the question answers who does lencho a complete faith in which sentence in the story tell you this 
so obviously we have to make a introduction first letter from god by gl fuentes barabar is a story revolving around a farmer namely lencho with an extreme faith in god when his crop had been ruined he started to seek help from god not a letter from a uh, letter to god and expected money from god so the introduction itself actually contains our answer ke lencho had a complete faith in god and certain sentences are there in the chapter brother earlier you can see some sentences which proves that he has complete faith in god uh, the first sentence i think in the on the page number 5 uh uh don't be so upset even though this seems like total loss no one dies of hunger second sentence uh, uh in the letter he writes to god if you don't help me my family and i'll go hungry brother he also demands money from the god apart from this at the end he writes uh uh, uh of the money i asked only 70 pesos reached me send me the rest since i need it very much but don't send it to one of the way confidently uh thanks god for sending the money and also asking him to send it directly to him that shows that he has immense faith in god why does the postmaster send money to lencho why does he sign the letter god postmaster was a very friendly amiable person he wanted he should have faith like lencho in god but as he was educated intellectual so he didn't have that faith but he wanted the faith should be intact it was a positive faith and he wanted the faith should not be moved so just to keep lencho's faith in god intact he decided to send money to lencho now this is main content you have to go forward the introduction earlier and just to ensure that the letter is from god he signs it under as god so lencho is uh, very much satisfied that it is sent from god and his faith remains intact did lencho try to find out who had sent the money to him no because he had got immense faith uh, he had demanded money and when the letter came he was no more surprised so this lack of surprise new well makes us sure that he had he had confidence that god will send him would send him money so he was not quite uh, surprised having seen the letter and money from god but on the contrary he was a bit angry against the post office that 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 taken away the money sent by god so all this proved that uh he had immense faith in god as a reason why he is never tried to find out who has sent the money who does lencho think has taken the rest of the money what is the irony in the situation as we have told you as i told you earlier in the end of the chapter that neki kar dariya mein dal postmaster might be very much surprised maybe sometimes maybe a bit angry because he has expected some satisfaction in the face of lencho and contentment and he wanted to feel something noble something gratified as he had helped somebody in the name of god but his tables are turned as money were not money were not enough so lencho thought that god might have never made a mistake it was um, mistake done by the post office or post office people might have taken away the money and cheated lencho in the name of god so uh, postmaster might be suffering from a very contradictory ironical situation instead of feeling satisfied and noble uh, he had got some very ill comments against the post department as a corrupt people so he might have been disappointed that is quite ironical at the end of the chapter 
So this is all the question answer from the first chapter. Hope you might have liked it. I hope you liked it. And uh, I'm giving you an assignment, a homework. Write down all the difficult words, <laughs> at least 25 out of the chapter, and all the question answers, and submit on the WhatsApp number of the daily tutorials. I'll get back to you another chapter very soon. Thank you very much.